Hello, my name is Brian and I'm a technical support engineer here at ScreenMeet. Today's video will be covering the ScreenMeet CoBrowse product utilizing the ScreenMeet console. ScreenMeet CoBrowse allows your agents or internal users to view and support your web pages with your customers or end users to resolve technical matters, increase sales conversions, and more. ScreenMeet CoBrowse also has the functionality to have confidential overlays on any pieces of the website's data that may be considered sensitive that the agent should not be able to see. As a note before we move forward, some of the settings or features shown in this demonstration may not be visible to you if your ScreenMeet administrator has disabled the setting or required it to be enabled by default. To start, I will navigate to console.screenme.com as the agent and click on the CoBrowse product. After entering a description of the session, I can create the session by clicking on the green Create Session button. Before I create the session, I can also enable session recording as well. On the right side of our display, inside of the pink browser, I've pulled up a web page with the CoBrowse script deployed on it that will simulate the end user's view. The CoBrowse modal may be launched by your customer or end user by either clicking on a button or by inputting a keyboard combination. In this particular example for our web page here, we can have the modal pop up by either clicking on the Browse with Agent option at the bottom of the page or by hitting Shift and Space on our keyboard at the same time. Please note that your web developer and ScreenMe administrator will have a customized experience based on your use case and web page. For example, this button may only visibly appear on unique pages and your administrator may have altered or disabled the keyboard shortcut that pops open the modal. If you have any questions regarding the implementation of the CoBrowse application on the web page that you are supporting, please contact your ScreenMe administrator. As the agent, you will want to provide the customer or end user the PIN that you generated earlier on in the session in either a phone call, chat, email, or other communication method that you utilize to engage with your customers or end users. You will also want to provide them instructions on how to open the CoBrowse pop-up modal depending on how your web developer and ScreenMate administrator has configured it. Switching to the customer perspective, I will take the PIN that our agent generated and enter it in the CoBrowse pop-up modal. Once the user has entered the PIN, we will see an option to enter the session on the ScreenMate console as the agent. We will proceed by entering the session. Once we have entered the session, we will be able to see what the end user or customer sees on that given web page. When the end user navigates on the page, we will also see those changes in real time. Starting at the top right of the Agent Viewer, we have options to collapse the Agent Toolbar by clicking on the arrow. This can be helpful to maximize screen real estate when supporting the customer if tools are not currently needed. You can also click on the square icon to detach the tools and move it based on your needs. Next we have the Laser Pointer functionality. This will attach a red dot to the cursor of the page which can be helpful in order to guide the user's attention to a given portion or item on the page. Up next is the highlighter feature, which allows us to draw on the page to guide the user's attention to a given portion of the page. We can also clear the drawings and stop the highlighter feature as well. Up next is the remote control functionality, which allows the agent to drive the web page as if they were the customer or end user. The end user must first accept this prompt. Once the user has accepted it, we can see that we can now control the page inside of the agent viewer. With remote control, we will navigate to the login screen for this web page. As we can see here, the web developer of this page has marked the password as a sensitive field that the agent should not be able to view when the end user or customer is typing it. Next is the screenshot functionality, which allows the agent to screenshot the agent viewer and either download it, upload it to the user's machine, or upload it to the case or ScreenMeet cloud. In this example here, we will download the screenshot and upload it to the case. This also gives the end user or customer the option to download it as well. The next feature is the unlock scrolling option, which allows the agent to scroll independently from the client. When it is enabled, we can scroll to the bottom of the page and view the footer of the page without the end user or customer being able to see this. If your organization has purchased ScreenMeet Live, an option to enable video chat is available. 
Once this is accepted, a pop-up window will appear for both the agent and the end user that allows video and audio chat. Please note that this option will not be visible if your organization only has licensing for the Cobrowse product, as ScreenMeet Live is a separate product. System information gives us access to browser metadata and information about the operating system of the end user. Viewer Invite Agents allows us to invite more agents to the session. This can be useful if you are escalating to a higher tier of support or if you are using it in a swarming use case. Multiple agents or subject matter experts can join the session by clicking on the link to aid in a faster resolution of the case or incident. Up next is the file transfer option, which allows the agent or end user to transfer files. The agent can click on the invite user to transfer files button, which will pop open the transfer dialog. The agent can drag and drop files or click the button to select a file to share with the user. Once the file has been uploaded, the end user or customer can download the file. These files can automatically be scanned for viruses and can be retained and uploaded to ScreenMeet Cloud if your administrator has enabled these settings. This setting can also be configured to be bi-directional, agent to user, or user to agent depending on your ScreenMeet configuration. Lastly, in the advanced settings, we have the option to change the language localization. Now that we have completed the session, we will press the Leave Session button. The agent will be given a survey where they can leave feedback about the session and their experience. As a note, end users or customers are not given the option to leave feedback. As a final reminder, the settings and functionality shown in this demonstration may not be visible to you if your ScreenMeet administrator has disabled the functionality or required it to be enabled by default. Now that we have completed the session, we can go back to our ScreenMeet console and go to My Session History to review the session information. Firstly, we have the Information tab, which includes when the session was created, durations and seconds, and more. The session log shows granular information about the session, such as when users and agents joined, feature usage, and more. System information pulls in the browser metadata and logs it here if it is needed at a later time. The Files section will include attachments in the session if your ScreenMate administrator has enabled attachment retention settings. It will also include recordings, though your administrator may make recordings visible to the original agent and group admins, only group admins, or all agents by default. This may potentially cause an agent to not be able to see or download a recording despite enabling the setting or if the recording setting was enabled by default. Depending on your configuration as well, you may have options to view the recording inside of ScreenMate Console or download it later for later use. Lastly, we have the metrics, which includes performance information about the session. This concludes the ScreenMate Co-Browse and ScreenMate Console Agent Overview. Definitely let us know if you have any questions. We'd be glad to assist. Thanks and have a great day.